Welcome to Virtual Church Media. In his presence where all things are possible, we're going to have a great program today. It's Don't Give Up is the entitlement of the message. It is part three. If you haven't seen part one or part two, you can go to our website at virtualchurchmedia.com and see the archived portions and also access the free downloadable books, Hope Deferred, and also a, There Is a Spiritual Key for Every Healing. Today, I'm here with my lovely wife, Joanna, and she is going to be playing the piano and bringing us into the presence of God, and we are also going to be worshiping. The Word's going to come forth, and the Holy Spirit's going to touch you. I'm going to ask my wife to go ahead and play and pray, and as God begins to minister to you, just push the table back and prepare to receive from the presence of the Lord. Prepare to re receive from the presence of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Joanna, please. All right. You ready for God to rock you today? Let's invite the presence of the Holy Spirit right now. Lord God, we just thank you for today. We praise your name. We say, Holy Spirit, come. We loose your anointing right now into, onto every person who's watching to break every yoke of bondage and chains. We command them to fall off right now in Jesus' name. We've been talking about don't give up. So how's your week been? We feel encouraged to tell you today that God's hearing your prayers. He's listening. And we're standing in agreement with you for whatever you need today. Jesus loves you. And I just pray for his love to fill you and heal you and touch you in Jesus name David as we start this PowerPoint presentation today we're also going to be showing you a video clip of some ear healings that happened during a different uh, service in Kansas City I think there was about four or five people that either had deaf ears there was hearing loss and on this clip, you're going to see how the Holy Spirit moves. And sometimes you lay hands on people and you invoke the name of Jesus and healings are instant. Sometimes it's a process until the completion of the healing comes. We're getting ready to have a special healing service on the 23rd of October, or 23rd of August. We're going to be in Southern California and you're invited to the River 47 Church. Sunday night, 6.30 p.m. And it's a place where you can come, receive from the presence of the Lord. You can also learn how to heal the sick in real time. And you can take what you experience in that atmosphere and you can take it to your home, your workplace. You can take it back to your fellowship or your church and release the atmosphere of heaven. And so we're gonna move to the PowerPoint teaching right now. And I wanna share with you briefly about a discipleship platform that we have online. We have the largest online discipleship platform in the world. It's referred to by many as the Netflix of Christian ministry. You can go access more than 10,000 Bible study videos on a number of different genres or themes or subjects that's for children, kids and adults. We even have Veggie Tales. And the best news of all, it's our gift to you for free and it's paid for by the friends and supporters of virtualchurchmedia.com. All you do is go to virtualchurchmedia.com and then type in your profile, virtualchurchmedia.com, say, try the platform, and it's our gift to you for free. You can also download the books that are part of this three-part series on Don't Give Up. But with no further ado, let's go to the PowerPoint teaching on Don't Give Up up. 
Jesus tells us in Matthew 7, 7, ask and it will be given, seek and you will find, knock and it will be opened unto you. Many of you see prayer team at virtualchurchmedia.com on the screen. Feel free to send in your prayer requests or if you need information, info at virtualchurchmedia.com. So Jesus tells us, ask and it will be given. Seek and you will find, knock and it will be opened unto you. For everyone who asks receives, he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks, it will be opened unto you. The next slide. Ask and it will be given, seek and you will find, knock and it will be opened unto you. Ask, seek, and knock. The message is this, in the original language of this passage, the words ask, seek, and knock are a command to do something now with a constant repeated action in the future until the desired result is achieved. Have you been asking? Have you been seeking? Have you been knocking until you receive, you find, and the door is opened? Jesus is encouraging you today, don't give up. Don't give up. Let's look at the next slide. Ask and keep on asking and it will be given unto you. Seek and keep on seeking and you will find. These are the words of Jesus and he says knock and keep on knocking and it will be opened unto you. Next slide please. I want to talk to you about King Asa in 2 Chronicles chapter 16, verses 12 through 13, it says these words, and in the 39th year of King Asa's reign, he became diseased in his feet. Might I suggest that there was something wrong with his walk, his spiritual walk? And if you read other passages about this story, you'll find out that Asa, this king who was a righteous man, threw one of the prophets in prison wrongly, and he became at dis-ease in his feet. There was something wrong with his walk and his malady was severe. Now here's a poignant truth that we find from the scriptures with a righteous king who made a mistake, but instead of confessing his faults and returning to the face of God, it says this, yet in his disease, he did not seek the Lord, but only to the physicians. So Asa rested or died and he was laid with his fathers in the 41st year of his reign. You just look at me for a second. I just want to talk to you heart to heart. There's nothing wrong with doctors. My wife and I, we, we go to doctors and we like to find out a diagnosis when we have an issue. We go to the Lord and that's where we receive our healing. And the Lord may direct us for, you know, some sort of natural adjustment in our diet, exercise, even a medication. God works through doctors. But today, I'm here to encourage you that the doctor is the conduit. The doctor is a resource, but God himself, he is your source and he's your supply. We as healing ministers might be the conduit or the hose, but God is the source and he's the supply. He's the water, he's the healing flow. Today, I want to encourage you, if you've had your eyes on the doctor or the lawyer or the psychologist or the psychiatrist or your ability to do something, might it be time just to get our eyes back up on the source and the supply? Joanna, do you have something to share on this subject? Yeah, I wanted to share that for a long time, I struggled with, um, I had been exposed to toxic mold, and I didn't know it at the time, and I started getting really sick, and I said, Lord, what is wrong with me? You know, I'm never sick. And the Lord said, uh, go to, take a mold test. And so I went to Home Depot, got a whole uh, kit for mold to test it. And sure enough, we had two strains of toxic mold. And so I started to do a bunch of research and I, I didn't get healed instantly, but it was a process and I was very sick as a result of it. But I'm here to tell you today that if you've been struggling with something for a while, and it, for me, it was a, a battle of about five years to finally get my health back. And I went through a process, but I'm healed. So if you've been struggling with something that's been chronic or a situation that's been going on and on, I'm here to encourage you today that God 
has a breakthrough for you. So I stand in agreement with you, no matter what it is, we just release the angels of heaven right now to your house, to your situation, and we pray for that breakthrough right now in Jesus' name. So whatever that sickness is, whatever that situation is, we speak the blood of Jesus over that situation now for your miracle. And we command the angels of the Lord to go forth into your lives, into your situation, and bring that breakthrough in Jesus' name. And I want to tell you that God knows what you're feeling, and He's here with you. He cries with you. He laughs with you. And you turn your heart to Him. And so don't give up. God says, ask and you shall receive. Knock and it shall be opened. Seek and you will find. So we're here to encourage you again today to keep asking, keep knocking, keep seeking, because the Lord your God is with you. Zephaniah 3.17 says, For the Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He takes great delight in you, and He rejoices over you with singing. So you can know today that no matter what you're feeling, whether it's depression, whether it's sadness, whether it's loneliness or anger or whatever it is, your God rejoices over you, and He sings over you, and He loves you, and He's taking your hand today. So reach up your hand to Jesus and just say, here am I, Lord. Here am I, Jesus, take my hand. David. Amen. We can go back to the PowerPoint for a second. If we can go to the next slide. The Bible says, cursed is the man who trusts in man and makes flesh his strength, whose heart departs from the Lord. For he shall be like a shrub in the desert and shall not see when good comes. But blessed is the man or the woman or the child or the little one who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river and will not fear when heat comes, but its leaf will be green and it will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will he cease from yielding fruit. Next slide, please. Keys to receiving. I've got a question for you today. Are you presence focused? Are you focused on the presence of God? What's in his heart? Are you focused on his face, spending time with him? Or are you maybe promise focused, looking at the promises or the benefits of God? Or maybe you're power focused on what God can do for you or how he can empower you to do things. Or maybe you're pleasure focused. How can I have fun? How can I feel good? I would say this, when you're presence focused and you're focused in on what's in God's heart, all the promises of God are yours. When you're promise focused, what's in God's hand, you may get something from God occasionally, but you may miss relationship with the Lord the children of Israel the children of Israel were promise focused they wanted what the promises of God were and there's nothing wrong with wanting the promises of God the Bible says in Matthew 6 33 seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness which is his presence and all these things the promises will be added unto you so when the children of Israel went into the land of Canaan the land that was promise to them a land flowing with milk and honey the Lord gave them a warning he said when you go into the land a land that I promised you promised your forefathers and you inhabit lands and vineyards that you've not planted homes that you've not built a land flowing with milk and honey do not forget the Lord God but remember him and if you remember him he will be with you all the days of your life. But if like King Asa, when you get tripped up, you seek not to the Lord, but only to the physicians, you seek not to the Lord, but only to the financial manager, you seek not to the Lord, but only to the psychologist or the psychiatrist or the doctor or the lawyer. If we just look back to him, 
He'll add all these things unto us. So the key is to be presence focused. When you reach out to him through this booklet that we're offering, Spiritual Keys for Every Healing, keys are unlocked as you seek the Lord by his presence. If you go to our website at virtualchurchmedia.com, you can click on the home page, and on the home page, it says download now. As you download, you can give us your email address, and we'll put you on our uh, free newsletter, and you'll also be able to download two books. We want to invite you to a Bible study and healing service in Orange County, California on August 23rd, just a few days from now. It's at 6.30 p.m. at 250 Prospect, Orange, California, 92869. You can go on our website and find the map and the location. And I want to share this with you. We're going to go to a healing clip, and you're going to see what often happens in services. This is from a service when we were recently in Kansas City, Missouri, and God was opening a lot of deaf ears. There was a lot of different emotional healings, people getting set free from rejection. And, and healing uh, is common in His presence. In His presence, there's fullness of joy. In, their, in His presence, all things are possible is the name of this program. And our goal and desire is to draw you into His presence where all things are possible. Because with Him, there's nothing that's impossible. Adam, would you take us to this two minute and 30 second clip? And this is what will be happening at the services on the 23rd of August. Everybody gets in the pool to play at our services because if you're born again, you shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Let's go to the clip now. Six months. And what's the percentage of deafness that you have? Uh, about. About 20% in this ear and about 90% in this ear. So this one's 90%. Okay, so if you put your hand over this, go ahead. So she, he can't hear that. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. We want to test before and after. Shall we? Spirit of deafness and infirmity. This ear. In Jesus' name. So, okay. Put your hand over that ear. Because they'll know as well. And it raises faith when that happens. Or when you call something else out that they didn't ask you to pray for, but it's dead on spot. Well, let's get the rest. Come on over. You know, God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the call. Wow. Just how good God is. Amen. And by the way, God is in a good mood. Amen. Amen. Nerves? Nerves. Be regenerated. Be regenerated. Spirit of hindrance. Spirit of hindrance. Distortion. Distortion. Trauma. Trauma. I break you off. I break you off. Right now. Right now. Go from him. Go from him. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Now go ahead and pull your fingers out. What's going on here? Well, there was, there's always been pain there. Uh -huh. And that pain has gone away. Wow. So, so, so the pain has gone away. There, yeah, there's always been pain in there. Thank you, Jesus. So we say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Kid. Huh? And anyway, I always had uh, damage to that right ear. And I have no ringing whatsoever. So since we just prayed for you or laid yes. hands on you, the ringing went away instantly. And you've had it since how? Since I was about 10 years old. So that's like 25 years? Yes. <laughs> 64 years. 64 years. Yeah. You're 74, and God's still healing Amen. today. Amen. Amen. We just want to encourage you. We're going to go ahead and reach out and pray right now. We also want to invite you to a service where you can physically come into contact with an atmosphere of the anointing. And we've got a friend of ours who's in the audience and he doesn't have a mic but he's going to agree with us in prayer in fact I just want to invite him up to sit with us Gershom would you come up and just sit please come on please yes thank you so much man of God 
we're going to agree in prayer. They're going to be able to hear on the microphone. You see people come out of wheelchairs all the time in your services in Fresno and Irvine, California. This is Dr. Gershom Sakala, and we love to have other fivefold ministry gifts come up and minister with us. So if you get any words of knowledge, please feel free. Short blindness and uh, harshness in your eyes. Of short blindness. Blindness? Short blindness and ashness. Ashness, like, like, like pain, but like you pain. Are short blind, like partially blind. Yeah, like short blind. Like oh, they oh short sightedness. Short sight. Short sightedness. But yes. But also the eyes are like paining. Release the healing. Right now, thank you. Just pray. Just pray. I just release the anointing. We come by the power of agreement, mm. my friend, who's from another nation. I thank you, Lord, that he's not unwilling to step on the yes. set and release the healing anointing. Yes, Command blindness, short-sightedness. Be healed now. Far-sightedness be gone. Ringing in the ears be gone. Yeah. There's an anointing for healing yeah. right now in the area of ears. I command the anvil and the stirrup yes. and the hammer right now to be recreated yes. under the sound of my voice. Yes. Spirit of distortion and yes. deafness, I command you to loose hold of them. Go ahead and stick your finger in that ear. Right. Just agree with us in the name of Jesus. There's somebody with a lower back pain. It's on that side. It's like a sciatica. Loose her, I said, in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody with a cast on their right foot right now. It's like a, it's not a, it's not a, it's, it's a temporary cast. It's like something you can take off and put back on. Take off and put back on. The Lord right now, if you'll just begin to gently move that around, you'll find that the pain, there's a heat going in to the right side right now. Just begin to step out on faith and just begin to receive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Neck be healed. In the name of Jesus. Be healed right now, in Jesus' name. Shh. We want to invite you, if you don't know Jesus as personal Lord and Savior, just say these words. Lord, I turn from my sin. I turn to you. I recognize you as Lord and Savior. I recognize that you died on the cross. You were buried in the tomb. And on the third day, you were raised from the dead. Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Wash me. Cleanse me with your shed blood. And make me new from the inside out. Baptize me in the Holy Spirit, power and fire. And enable me to seek your face that I might have all of your promises while we're still in relationship. The River 47, yes. 250 South Prospect, special healing and miracle service yes. three days from now. Sunday, 6.30 p.m., we invite you to come into the presence of God where all the promises of God are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. Email us with your prayer request. Go on and access the discipleship platform for free. Download the books. Please make a donation to support the ministry. And we're praying for you to seek his face. That you can have everything that's available in his hands. God bless you. We love you. God bless you.